You guys know what the fastest growing crime in America is? It is identity theft. And there's a new victim every 14 seconds. One of my brothers just recently experienced this. It was horrible, guys. He spent hours on the phone with companies trying to get everything situated. And to prove to, him, to prove to them that it was him, he had to send text messages to family and friends to let them know not to send this hacker money because it wasn't him. It was crazy. And that's why I'm excited to partner with today's sponsor, Aura. Aura is identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, VPN, password management, and antivirus software all combined into one easy use app. You might have one of these services already, but if you don't have all the tools, it's like locking the front door but leaving the back door open. Where are they doing that at? Those of you who have already had your identity stolen already are often shocked when this happens. Imagine trying to log into your email account only to realize that the password had been changed hours ago. And then later, you're getting notifications from your bank accounts, credit cards, and crypto accounts apps. Can you believe it? What are you gonna do? Who mm. oh, I will be horrified. Thankfully, Aura monitors the dark web for your emails, social security number, credit cards, and they do it quick by sending alerts really fast right to your phone and email. Thank you for that. Aura also gives you near real-time alerts on suspicious credit card activities as if let's say like someone who was um, opening a loan or credit card in your name or VPN allows you to stay anonymous online while keeping your browser history and personal information safe and encrypted protect your family and yourself from identity theft by going to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash aura dot com forward slash SIBO and snapper if you sign up right now or will give you a two week free trial with my link to see how many times you'll see your personal information or your family's personal information on the dark web. And if you sign up, let me know in the comments below if your personal information has been compromised. You won't regret checking. Man, we are back with yeah. another freaking video. video. Man, you already know what time it is in your city, yo. Man, you know what time it is, Joy? I feel real Snapper. low. Well, hey, bro. <laughs> My chair's a well, little actually, lower, Well, actually, you can guys. lift it back up since we moved the screen. No, it's all good. Hey, so you know what? This has been a long time coming to see what was going to be said. Um, as y'all know, back, um, what was it? Was that the Oscars? Mm-hmm. So, you know, the whole thing with Will Smith, uh, Chris Rock. So, Will Smith has been off the scene, except for a couple, I think, little pop-ups and stuff that come up and say, you know, he'll express himself on Instagram or something like that, or, you know, it'd be a, it'd be a, maybe a post or something. But now he's come back on his channel, and now I guess he's going to talk about it. It says it's been a minute, so I, everybody wants to have, hear hear what's going on. I definitely, definitely want to hear what what's what's cracking. Yeah, I'm interested down. too. One bar, one bar. I am very interested too. Let's go. So, let's go. It's been a minute over the last few months. I've been doing a lot of thinking and personal work. You asked mm -hmm. a lot of fair questions in the media screen that I wanted to take some time to answer. <laughs> Will, like, he about to go to the golf course. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out um oh man so he so he like chris still like nah well i mean that's quite understandable that move that was made was done all i mean on, on television that was viewed i'm sure all over the world or where that was all over the world yeah you know so 
And I don't know if they had somewhat of a relationship before that. I don't really know yeah. the history. I think it was some. I think they had a relationship before that, but I think it was some prior problems in relation to stuff like that. So it could have been a little bit. Um, I forgot the word. Uh, unstable. Yeah. But you know, still, nevertheless, you got to give a person time after they've processed everything. Yeah. And true allow them to heal and be in a place where it can be receptive. It could be it could be years. It could be two, three months from now. True. Yeah. So I will I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, oh, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family. Uh, specifically Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. I wonder what Tony was saying. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like... You people asking good questions, though, because this is where the things people were thinking. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I heard a lot of people saying, you know, on Facebook, I saw it on other places, too, like, man, you see what happened when you let your, let your wife get you into that. See what, you know... Y'all's open relationships and all that stuff let you, it and you whipped. You know, I was hearing all that kind of stuff. That's what I was kind of stuff. And the way you ain't got yourself in a jam and she good. And people don't, you know, no, she wasn't good because it was because of her. Things he was saying about her is what made his him not be able to ration in that moment and allow his emotions to overtake. We are human beings and we are emotional beings, creatures. You know, I'm not condoning his actions at all because, of course, there could have been a, a higher road, a better way. But we are human and we, we make mistakes. And he needed to be able to deal with his mistake because he's a public figure. And it took him this long to be able to do it. I mean, the three months is not a long time for me. You know what? That's right. Three months. That was. I remember all this happened when we were in Georgia. Three months is not a long time, yeah. Yeah. you know, so he's still healing and he's going to be healing from this for a very long, long time, time because people are so critical. You make one, they love you. You're great. You're, you're all, it's all good when you're on top of the world. But then when you make a mistake, people want to rip you like you're not even human and like they don't make mistakes. Yeah. That's what I don't get about the human race is that, yeah. oh, we're so cool. We love you. We love you. We love you. And then you do one thing wrong or you make a mistake. You say something out of line or something they don't agree with or they don't like. They want to persecute you. So but true. ye so without sin cast the first stone. There's not a human yeah. being alive that can say anything, really, even about the worst person because we ain't the judge. I blame that on the little on the little G God you social know, media because people do horrible things nah, in listen, the world. But listen, no, no, no. So this same the reason why I say little G because this same scenario would have happened before the age of social media days. The repercussions and feeling behind it would not have been as broad. It wouldn't have because you wouldn't have people to 
tell you how they feel and try to cancel you and all that. It just wouldn't exist. That's why I call it a little G. Okay. So it's like it will, um, people got really, really spicy when they know they can make comments. People that would never say into your face. But I will say, no, he did not handle that the right way. Um, but, and things do heal in time. But I, that's why, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad you, that he found And that's why I'm a big friend of, you know, making sure you're getting that God relationship stronger because, and not seeking other things. Yeah, using other entities that, to, yeah, you exactly. know, to. Because they're not going to give you love. They're not going to give you that love of that God. And, you're gonna and they're start, not going to tell you to do things the right way. Yep. No. Yep. You know, I'm, I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, I'm going to say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you you voted for me, and it, it it really breaks my heart to have stolen and and tarnished tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it it happened on Quest Love's uh, award, and you know, I ain't think of that because that could suck. Cause you expecting you about to come up, you already ready for the. I mean, your energy's flowing and then pow, and it's just like now, you, now your thoughts have swayed because this didn't happen right before I was about to go up and do this. And now I'm like, now I'm seeing this. Now it's kind of like now my moment is kind of like this because it was. Yeah. It's like people clapping, but people ain't think about it as much. Mm -hmm. They think about what just happened. Yeah. And I wonder, do you remember after that? Diddy came up and said, man, we're going to handle that at the um, the after party. I wonder, was there any communication at the after party? Did they I mean, even, I don't even know if he even go. Even go. Probably, why, probably. Why, why would you? True. That's true. You know true. what I'm saying? That's to, to be ridiculed and to, to feel the, the negative vibes and the negative, you know, and all these questions to be bombarded. And why even put yourself true. through that? It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient what would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down um, so there's two things one um, disappointing people is my central trauma um, I hate when I let people down um, so it it hurts uh it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know i didn't live up to uh people's image and impression of me and the work i'm trying to do is i am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake. Right, And exactly. I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy. <clears throat> and my thing is, you know, he said that he is very, you know, remorseful and he has a, his, one of his things he's working through is letting people down. And it is not our responsibility to make a person, you know, feel good or to help you get through something, you know, I, I mean, I, I think that's too much weight on a person, especially as a public figure. Yeah. They live a life and they're going to make mistakes. Yeah. It's not their responsibility to keep us up. That's too much. Yeah, I agree. That's too much. They don't live for us, but 
We want them to live for us. But that's why people have to get out of the mindset of worshiping other people. If a person has two eyes, two legs, your same body parts, or the opposite of your same body parts, let you know that they are still the human being, then, bro, stop worshiping people, bro. Get out of it. No, because that's what it is. It's yeah. worship. Because people feel like they God that let them down. It's and you got to stop pedaling, pedestaling. Like, because I used to be like that Will Smith. I'm not even going to lie. I'm talking, let me talk to myself for an instance, man. He was always being that, as a kid for me, that higher, I always want to be, like, he always, I always put him in this place out of anybody, any actor, anybody, any source, musician, anybody. It was him. And, um, and I did that. But that was before the era of him going through what he was going through. I'm growing up as a man. I know, you know, I, I you know, I only serve one, I only look at exalt one. But that's what happens when you try to exalt a man. As soon as that person lets you down, oh, I want to do, uh, uh, uh. People want to kill your, there and crush you, there. And I bet you the same people that's going at him talking about, talking about the whole, um, trying to, you know, you're trying to cancel him. Them the same people are probably cussing people, getting people finger on the street when they get, and somebody cut them off. And, you know, just, it's like, bro, who? And that's What's what your- really gets me is that indivi- you know, humans want to fault this person and crush them for a mistake, yet they don't do themselves that way when they make a mistake. Yeah. Because we all make mistakes, yeah. regardless of whatever it is. Yeah. And I just think it's unfair and that's too much of a burden on a person. Yes. They, we look up to the, you know, we look up to entertainers. We look up to people who, you know, have high status because they do do great things in the world. They do give. With much is given, much is required. But they're not perfect. They're no. not God. It's only one true living God. That's God, Jesus Christ, His Son. So it's, 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 there is, there is the problem. Because in order for a person to be perfect, they would have to be God. Correct. So you will always mistake free. So you will always be let down by a human being. Exactly. It's impossible. I mean, always. thank God it wasn't something like murder. You know, I mean, just imagine if it had been something on those like completely devastating. That was a horrible mistake he made. Don't get me wrong. Let's not get this confused. His emotions. He allowed his emotions to be out of control in that moment. But we all, I feel like there, there's all been we have all had a, a level where we have lost our cool. But it's just not broadcasted. Right, I agree. And let me ask you this: Have you ever no you know, no names, no artist names or anything like that? Have you ever met ran met an artist that you always wanted to meet, or you know, and then you were like, uh, I ain't really like I thought they were gonna be, or come into contact or been in the same area and see how they they are, and you like, oh man, they ain't really like. I really can't say that I have right off the top of my head because. You know the artists that I kn- that I know, they were always always pretty cool as a fan. Okay, you know, yeah, rappers, yeah. singers, yeah, that not, type of yeah. vibe. <clears throat> yeah. But thinking, you know, me as a person, if I people can have a bad day, they may not always want to talk to somebody. They may want to they may want to run in the store in and out. I know I f- I can feel that way, and I'm not even anywhere near as his level of success or status. You know, I may sometimes I just want to cut in and cut out. You may have things on your mind. You might be going through something. Yeah. You may not always want to be in the limelight, and that's, that's not true. oh that comes with the territory. No, it doesn't come with the territory. Yeah, and he's still up there, still people. It and comes they have, with the they territory have, that y'all have put up in. Exactly, they have the right to say no. I don't want to take a picture right now. I'm eating with my family. You might not like it, but oh well. C- case in point, um, um, rest in heaven, Nip. When Nipsey, it was this one thing with him and Laura London, and I guess he was having a bad day. And then people were trying to film him and stuff like that. And then he just was cutting up with them because his day was bad. And then people tried to go in and blast him. This is how, how he is and stuff like that. Exactly. When you're in the light, your day, like you said, day ain't going to be good. And then you catch them on the wrong day. You talking about humans. They're not your robot. You just don't get the opportunity to choose and say, okay, I want to do this and, I, and you got to do this this day. No, we don't have that right. Right. We don't have that right. We don't own people. Yeah. So give him a break. I have I have a lot of compassion for him. And even when he did that, I, I I knew he allowed his emotions to get over yeah. him. And I was disappointed myself because, you know, being in that position, because 
thinking about the repercussions, I start with I think about what's going to happen after the fact. There have been plenty of times I have wanted to straight rip a person with my words and energy behind it. Straight want to lay a person out with my hands. But then I thought about straight <laughs> roll rage is real. Ram somebody with my car because they're acting such a fool in the streets. But I got, I, then I'm thinking about, okay, how my husband going to feel? What am I going to say to my mama? You know, all of these things I'm thinking about. But people, many people don't are not going to think about the end in mind no. before they behave because the emotion is so powerful and so strong. Yeah, no, nah, spirit take us. Spirit God, take over that nigga. Spirit take him. over have done. When I saw that. Yeah. When I saw him do that, I just felt so sorry for him because I knew what was going to follow. Yeah. But it's okay. Yeah, that's why the only thing I hate um, about being... We can't judge nobody. No. Nah. We can't judge nobody. And people who take that time out to put a negative comment on somebody's page when they do oh something like goodness. that. Oh, my goodness. You know, it's just, you know, have has, has so much growing to do. Because if you want to sit there and put a negative comment about someone's... based on, I'm, I'm going to say specifically this instance. Now, I know there are people who've done way things. We got people that shoot up churches, that kill kids, that set fires. I mean, the list can go on. Say that negative, nasty energy to express for those. And then on the flip side, somebody else would say, you know, you got to pray for them. They need conviction and they need prayer. But your anger, emotion, because they innocently hurt people, is going to want to rip them to pieces. I understand. Yeah. But something like this shouldn't be judged as harshly and it still is incorrect it was not right i am definitely I saying that don't, was, don't please don't get my words confused i was gonna say and i ain't gonna lie to you for the first day or two i'm just trying to see if this was still real or was that fake <laughs> I was like, What's yeah this? yeah that slap was too perfect but I and chris was like but compassion for will smith and his yeah, family yeah. and chris rock's family too because yeah. you know they they suffered and i can understand why he's saying you know now i'm still not ready we got to stop putting people too high in the pedestal That's now. That's right. They are not we God. Stop they are not people. God. They are humans just like us trying to figure figure it out. And they were able to land a level of success because they tapped into their divinity and they did not give up. Exactly. And that's it. They tap. We all have that potential. We all have that potential. But many of us are not willing to make those sacrifices to go out there and get it. That comfort zone keeps us bound. That's right. And that's cool too into the world and you know if you if you hang on I promise we'll be able to be friends again and be excuse me and because we are human we are all connected that's why we can feel impact compassion or anger when when things happen all across the world because God made us we're his all he we're all his kids and we have that connection with each other yeah and it, it, it sad me then yeah. I was sad. So we just, you know, I'm curious to see what the other channels and stuff that are going to react to this and the other channels that aren't really reacting channels that are that will that will talk about it and what they're gonna say. If people are gonna show love and compassion, they're gonna show this this judgy whack stuff for a little extra money on their channel, you know what I'm saying? So. But I, I would say, you know, we we're still we never left Will, you know, we were just hanging back and honestly praying for you. We really were praying for you and your family. We pray for we pray for people we don't know. God puts people in our spirits. We've dreamed about entertainers and movie stars. And I'm like, God, why do I know this? Why am I dreaming about yeah. this person? What right. do you want me to do with this information? He wants you to pray for them. Yeah. He knows who his prayer warriors are. And prayer is powerful and it moves things. He wants us to pray for them. Mm -hmm. Because he's hurt and so is his family and so is the other family. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's no win-win in this situation. And people that fall off because somebody made this one mistake, you ain't true to the game no way. So we got you. I mean, we're, that's we're, a, we're, that's we're a here. fact. Yeah, no, we here. We support no, you, and we love you, Will Smith. That's a fact. Bottom line. That's a fact. If we fall off that quick, bro, you going? You know? Yeah. I'm going right people out. People are anyway. so. People are so. And then as soon as I do something, as soon as I do something amazing, miraculous, you right there. Yeah. Oh, woohoo! Yay! I love you. You're so great. And Bye. then you make one little. You make a mistake. I told y'all. I don't know a why y'all should watch. A big mistake, or if you're not doing something that they want you to do. do. Yeah. That's we know what their life's about. Yeah. And, but it's all but, good. But you also said one thing. Yeah. <laughs> we are. Something slammed hard. Threw me off. Oh, that's whatever um, they lift the bed up over Yeah. There, whatever they do. <laughs> um, you said this key thing, though, man. It's like, um, 
So I'm gonna, you know, just a word of advice, man. Don't take your time out to make a negative comment. If it's something, anything negative you got to say, man, just don't even say it. Just keep it to yourself, man. Write it on a piece of paper and throw it in the trash can or something. But um, don't take the time to make a negative comment on a page. Don't take a comment, go ahead and judge this man. You know, waste your time. Focus on how you're gonna make, how you're gonna change the trajectory of your family and financial wealth in your family. Yeah. Versus spending all your time on negative. Dying broke. Who wanna who wanna do that? So so man, keep it positive. I, I wanna it. say one more thing is that you know, look, we have to stop putting people up on a pedestal and, and equate humans to the to the who equivalent to the equivalency of God. I wanna stress that. People are not God. We are made in his image. That don't mean we are God. We don't have the ability to procreate without a sperm and an and, and, and an egg. We can't do that. Yeah. So what I'm saying is stop putting people on pedestals. That's that ain't our responsibility. Stop. No, they come they equate they come into a large success because they work for it. So we love you, Will. That's right. We love you, big bro. Yeah, don't keep keep doing keep doing keep doing your work. Keep yes, doing sir. your work. Yes, sir. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one, man. I know yeah, that was hard. Yeah, subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, go over to Snapper Red TV, subscribe to that channel, and we'll see you on the next video. All right.